Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill and today we're going to talk about how to treat sinus congestion by draining or flushing. Now a lot of people experience sinus congestion felt up here in the nose either with a cold or with allergies or even with a bacterial sinusitis. A lot of people want to know before I go to the doctor or spend money on medicine, is there anything I can do for myself? The answer is yes, there is. The most common device is called a neti pot, and it looks almost like a genie's lantern. They can be different shapes, but the idea is to introduce saline into the nose. How are you going to make saline? When well, obviously you could buy it at the drugstore. But you could also take tap water and add for every one cup of tap water a half a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and boil that or put it in the microwave and then of course let it cool back down to room temperature. And now you have a relatively clean, safe saline solution that you can squirt up in your nose. Now you can use the neti pot or a syringe to irrigate your sinuses maybe a couple of times a day, but it can be overdone. Overdoing it threatens to irritate the sinuses or even potentially introduce infection. So use your neti pot maybe a handful of times a day, but don't get into a habit where you're using it every time you turn around. Now, beyond that, doctors can prescribe medicines that will help. They will most often use anti-allergy medicines, corticosteroids like fluticasone, mimetazone, or others that you squirt directly into the nose. These sprays don't work quickly. They usually take several days to take effect, but they are very effective, especially at congestion that's caused by allergic rhinitis. Thirdly, people will get over-the-counter decongestants, such as Afrin. That's a spray that tightens up the blood vessels inside the nose, causes the tissues to shrink temporarily. This is the kind of spray you hear about people getting addicted to. Now, they're not going to knock over a filling station to get money to buy it, but what they mean when they say they're addicted is if you lose this, use this spray for more than three or four days in a row, you're very likely to get some rebound congestion when you stop using the spray. The tissue inside the nose kind of gets used to it, gets adjusted to it. Then when you take the spray away, the congestion comes back with a vengeance. So if you do use an over-the-counter nose spray for decongestion, be sure that you keep track of how long you've been using it, and after the second or third day, you do best to stop. Talking about how to relieve sinus congestion using uh, flushing or lavage, I'm Dr. David Hill.